Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Destiny video. Now this is actually going to be my very first Destiny 2 video and today I have some gameplay of the new exotics pulse rifle, the Graviton Lance. Now in order to get this pulse rifle you all only have to play about half of the story missions and then it will be given to you by one of the vendors. You'll have the choice between three exotics and if you choose this one you can get it immediately. The other ones are the Sunshot and the Auto Rifle from the Warlock that we saw in the beta, but this is the first exotic that I got my hands on that we were not able to see or use in the beta. So this is called the Graviton Lance. Now it reminds me a lot of the Outbreak Prime from Destiny 1 if you guys played that. And it's pretty decent for PvE, I have not given a shot in PvP just yet. But for this video guys, I'm, this is going to be a gameplay of the new strike that we also unlocked. This strike was ended up being pretty amazing, the boss fight. And just the strikes, the way that the strikes work in Destiny 2 in general are pretty cool. It's not like the strikes in Destiny 1 where you just sit and defend a door or you just run through and kill the boss. This is actually a lot more involved and there's different things that you and your fire teams have to do together in order to actually beat the boss. So the strikes in general in this game just seem to be a lot better than Destiny 1, just a lot more involved. And if you play Destiny 1, I'm sure you guys are really going to enjoy this as well. So this pulse rifle here is actually, like I said, pretty good for PvE. I haven't given it a chance in PvP just yet, so this isn't like a review or anything like that. But basically just so you guys can get a good look at it, at it and make a decision whether or not you actually want to pick this up when you complete the story mission as well. Because like I said, there will be three different weapons to choose from. The Sunshot we already used in the beta. The Auto Rifle that we got on the Warlock as well we already used in the beta. And this is the first look that we actually got at any of the exotics here in Destiny 2. So this is the first one I got my hands on, the Graviton Lance, like I said before. Now hopefully you guys do enjoy this rest of the strike so you guys can get a good look here at this Pulse Rifle for yourselves. Now keep in mind that my light level, or at least the recommended light level for this strike, is a little bit higher than the level I was at at the time of doing this mission. So you may see me going down quite a few times here during the boss fight and just in general because the adds do a lot more damage to me than they do uh, my other two teammates. But hope you guys do enjoy. Like I said, this is going to be just a quick look at the new Pulse Rifle if you guys want to take a look at it, see how it performs and just see how it works before you guys pick it up from the shop. Now if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I will be uploading tons of Destiny 2 content over the rest of the week and just in general over the game's lifespan. So if you guys are interested in seeing more guides, more reviews, anything related to Destiny 2, be sure to click that subscribe button. Hope you guys do enjoy the rest of this gameplay though, the rest of this strike, and I will see you guys in the next Destiny video. Peace. Doors open. Where can we find the Genesis mind? In the self-organized criticality of the central neural terminus. No one knows what that means, Asher. Just make your way inside. Team, there are taken here. Team, that's fine. We're only inside of a giant planet transforming pyramid with interdimensional specters and reality bending robots. What could go wrong?
are single-minded and predictable, but the Taken, they represent entropy, unpredictable, unsimulatable entropy. I've never witnessed the origins of the Vex. They are not born like humans. They are not created like Exos. Perhaps like the Awoken and my arm. They are converted. Asher can't figure out where you are. If he drops out, it's because he's thrown a tantrum and broken his microphone. I heard that, you wretch. <laughs> he feels safe saying such things because he is on IO and I am not.
now find yourself before an abyss of swirling data. Various realities being written and overwritten, you see. Uh, I really want to tell you that's exactly what we're looking at, but... arriving on the shores of an inscrutable radiolarian lake. Oh, not a pit? What pit? There is no pit in the Pyramidian. <sighs> I mean, yes. Silly me. Here's the lake now. We're in some kind of interdimensional terminal. A synthoneural terminus. You're on Brachion's doorstep. Inform the Genesis mind that it has guests.
sever its arm from its chassis and send it spiraling into the infinite? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's dead. It's... it's real dead.